What is up everybody? This is your boy Chloronix back with a brand new video as always. So today I actually wanted to go ahead and take a look into Underground Multiplayer. I ended up never really trying it out. I told you guys that I would eventually, but I just didn't want to go ahead and uninstall the pro my SAMP and then reinstall it. But now it's the perfect opportunity. So we're here on Underground Multiplayer. When you start up the, the client, this is basically what you'll see. You'll see the internet, whitelist, official, and your favorites if you add them to your favorites, of course. So, at the moment, it doesn't seem like there's many too many uh, populated servers down here. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's too many popular servers at all. We have, let's see here, we have Call of Duty Resurrection, Protect the President. Um, what's this one? We have a Hyax. Hmm, yeah, there's not many populated servers. It's kind of uh, disappointing. We have a we have a free one, which we're probably gonna go ahead and play and try out. Um, so far, I really like the tab. I think it's a lot better than Sam. It just it just looks clean, man. You know, it looks really clean. You got your settings up here. It looks like you could change some settings here. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into that free roam, and we're just gonna go ahead and check out how the client is. All right. So when you first hop on, first off, I just want to say I love the screen here. I love the artwork design. GTA Grand Theft Auto Underground multiplayer. Absolutely beautiful. I love the art design they did with it. So far, I'm digging it. Uh, I did go ahead and create a character already on here because I needed to. So we haven't really explored anything yet, though. So I'm actually excited to get on here. I looked at some of the commands here and what to do. So let's go ahead. Let's get started. Um, ooh. Ooh. I love this song. Login successful. Cool. Ooh. There's so many options. Let's go with him. Let's go with the Vice City Classic, man. You are in lobby god mode. Okay. So, why don't, why don't get, why but don't get play, what? I, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So far, there's not many too many servers on here, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, if there was like a roleplay server, we would have definitely checked it out, see what the roleplay is like in the community. Welcome to lobby, type in and choose any mode. So, I believe we can actually spawn in some vehicles. So, I want to say it was T to teleport. Alright, so... Let me go ahead and show you guys the map first. So currently we're in Vice City. And then I think these are other yeah, these are other places. There's Vice City, San Andres. I think there's Bullworth and some other places we're gonna go ahead and check out. So first thing is first, we're gonna go ahead and check out Vice City here. We're gonna go ahead and get a helicopter. And we can't spawn in a helicopter because we're too close to that, unfortunately. So we're gonna go ahead and get a spawn on another helicopter. Don't you just hate that? And now, for some reason, I can't spawn in a helicopter. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the hell... What? what? What's going on? Oh my god, I guess we can't spawn it. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and teleport then. Uh, we're going to go ahead... Let's go ahead and check out... Ooh. I love it. Dude, Vice City brings back some good memories, man. I When I was a little man playing on my PS2, dude... Just having fun. This and Vice City Stories were some of the best, man. Vice City Stories did not receive as much love as Vice City, but Vice City Stories, if you didn't play Vice City Stories, you gotta go check it out, man. Great story. I forgot the main character's name. I think his name was Lance or something. Uh, weapons are nice. Animations. Can you can you see bug? Yep, you can still see bug in this game, boys. <laughs> they, that's never gonna be fixed, though. That's just a Sam. That's just a GTA San Andreas thing. Love it, love it, love it. Let's go ahead and teleport. Let's go ahead and check out Bullworth here. Uh, wow. Yeah! Dude, the ideas that you could have done in Bullworth roleplay, dude. I know there was a roleplay server that was actually on SAMP uh, for 0.3 DL for Bullworth roleplay. But I think it ended up dying or something. Something happened, man, and it just it didn't go as expected. Um, it pretty much just kind of died within like the first two weeks, I want to say. Unfortunate, but you know, shit happens, you know. Uh, the auto shop, this is like where all the greasers and people would hang out in the game. Dude, the amount of roleplay, dude. Bullworth roleplay would have actually been really cool. I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I never actually got to play on the server. Um, because it would have been cool to just come back and just like watch this video, what I'm doing now, and then watch the old Bullworth and see what kind of changes they had. And this is where... This is where you had to fight some people, right? This is where you could, like, shoot a soccer ball and, like, hit somebody there. I think so. Oh, the classic skateboard that you get as Jimmy Hopkins, man. Did you imagine just being in a school right here and just start shooting? Fuck that, dude. You do not want to do that. 
Uh, seems a little bit unfinished here. I know in the real game you can like go down to the, like the interiors and that's where you fight Russell. What's going on here? I'm not able to leave. There we go. As I was say, I wasn't able to leave there for a quick second, man. But being being here in Bullworth on San Andreas, basically client, is kind of crazy, man. It's a little bit crazy, dude. I love the idea, man. Like, don't get me wrong. Underground multiplayer has a great idea. Um, it doesn't seem like the player base is there, though. I think maybe in the next year or so, we might see an influx of players come here. I definitely do see potential in it. Um, can you not? Where's my guns? I don't have guns. Uh, yeah, pretty much just Bullworth, man. I mean, <laughs> it's as simple as it goes. The idea of roleplay here would have been so cool, dude. Um... Too bad I can't teleport, like, up there or anything. I think, yeah. Was it was it only two stories in Bullworth, I believe? Yeah, I believe so. Dodgeball game, sign up in the gym. This is... Can you go in there? No, you can't go in there. I love the idea, man. <laughs> love, I love Bully, man. Bully is one of my favorite all-time games, dude. I used to play that game on the PS2 so much, man. This is where you... I don't think these are... I don't think this is correct. I, I might be tripping here, but I want to say... No, no, this is correct. This is correct. I'm just tripping. Isn't this where you make out with that really fat girl or something? <laughs> oh, my gosh. And you give her, you give her like, chocolate or something and she starts crying or something like that, man. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the girl's dorm. Oh, wow. Yeah, bro. Can you imagine some gang wars here? He's just like, we got the we got the Lozano's uh, 415. Go, go, go. Could you imagine, dude? That'd be crazy, man. Role playing as like a 16 year old kid in a gang at Bullworth. <laughs> oh, that'd be so fucking cringy, dude. <laughs> I love the idea, though. But uh, it would be so cringy, man. You venture to peace zone. Oh, these are like peace zones. Nice. <laughs> I love it, man. All, all of his girls, basically. Um, all these girls were. I don't know, man. All these girls were pretty fine, to be honest. Jimmy, Jimmy's best girl was the, that one, though, in the bottom left-hand corner. The, the preppy girl. I think that's that's would have been the best bet for a long-time marriage. You can actually go in these dorms here, which is cool. I know you can't do that in-game, but it's kind of cool to for them to customize it a little bit. Do something a little different. But yeah, like, so far, like, I'm really digging this, man. I love the idea. I love the little stuff they put in here. It's kind of pretty cool, man. Kind of pretty cool, dude. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's go ahead and check out another place. Let's go ahead and go to... Let's go to Liberty City, man. Just... Oh. Honestly, I was... Ne I never liked Liberty City too much, guys. I'm gonna be honest. Liberty City was okay, man. Like, GTA 3 and Liberty City Stories was... They were okay, man. Liberty City is not my favorite place. I'll tell you that, though. They did a great job in GTA 4 by changing it a lot. But, um... Uh, uh, yeah. I, I really, really don't like Liberty City as much as I... As I yeah, it's just not my least favorite game, to be honest. It's, I don't know. There's something about it, man. It just kind of feels... Feels, like, really cheap to me. I don't know, dude. <laughs> just just my personal opinion here. Rockstar. It would have been so fucking fun to go police pursuits on this game here, though. Like, there's a lot of places in Liberty City that you could have, like, hit from the cops and all that. Like, tons of places, man. Tons of places. Oh my god, dude. Just checking out this whole place is like, that's awesome, man. Let's go ahead and teleport. Let's go down to, uh... What happened? Teleported up to Vice Tool. This ain't... Oh, wow. Oh my god. Being in Vice City is so freaking cool, man. And you have tons of car options. I mean, you have every car from GTA 3, Vice City. I'm just trying to pick the the, the one that's going to get me across from street. Uh, hey, I wonder if this I wonder if this client has that stupid loading screen like Vice City when you would cross to the other side. They don't. <laughs> I was going to say, dude, that shit was so stupid, man. Like, it would stop, it would freeze right here, and then it would load in. You know, the limitation of hardware back in the day was very much different compared to what it is now. So, that's not their fault. Oh, man, dude. It feels like I'm playing Vice City multiplayer, but I'm really not, man. It's just kind of... It's just so weird, dude. It is so weird to be playing on a GTA San Andreas, basically, clients on Vice City map, dude. It's just, like, so weird, man. 
and I love I love in the, the bottom left hand corner there is a map that you can actually see where you're going instead of I've noticed in like 0.3 DL servers they go ahead and just kind of like you know they make a map because and then they just put it out in the ocean somewhere and that and you could you don't know where you're at if you've never played these games you would be so confused so I love the idea of them having maps on here, like like we're seeing where you're going, makes it so makes it worth the trip here. Is that Burger Shot? Was there Burger Shot in Vice City? I don't remember that, man. I would say I don't think I remember that. Oh man, I'm about to get my feels here, boys. The freaking mall, dude. Oh my god, dude. They even have the music. Hype! That's some hype stuff, dude. Oh my god, dude. Just being here. Just being here, man. Playing Vice City back in the day when I was a kid. 2003, 2004. Eating some potato chips. Spending my whole day on here, man. My weekends, dude. I play Vice City, dude. I grew up with Rockstar games, man. Bully, Vice City, GT3, San Andreas. Dude, I've, I've been playing this game since I was a kid, dude. Wow. This is actually getting my feels, dude. I, I, it just, it's bringing back a lot of good memories, man. Does this actually work, though? Well, this is obviously not how elevators work. There's two, oh, okay, well. Good thing we have God Mode on. Um, I love it, man. Can you go in the ammunition, though? I think in the actual game, you can go in the ammunition. <laughs> yeah, you can. I want to say, I think in the game, it's, it's actually you can go inside. Oh wow! There are cultists everywhere, friend. Shut up. No ID required, friend. Do you actually have to buy it? What happened? Okay, what we're we getting out here. That was weird. It didn't even fucking work. Uh, anywhere else we haven't been to yet? There's in tears. There's a lot in tears. No, oh, we don't need to go there. Oh. Everybody, dude, back in the game, man, just go in here and just like, ah! <laughs> like, who does hasn't done that in Vice City, bro? That was like, I can see why the government tries to ban video games. I can see, I can actually see why they try to ban video games. Um, or they've tried to, they're never going to, man. But the the type of shit you could have done in fucking Vice City, man, like picking up some freaking. <laughs> Escort or whatever they're called and just yeah, you yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about taking the money right after Um, Let's see here, dude Mount Chile. Yeah, no, there's nothing special about it, dude Skate park. What's the skate park? Oh Can you actually use the freaking skateboard though? Is that like a thing you can do? <laughs> Why do I have a, I'm holding a skateboard. Can you actually do anything with it? No, I don't think so we're here to just San Andreas. Nothing special about it. We've been in San Andreas our whole lives playing San Andreas multiplayer. Um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and teleport down to. Uh, I think we've been everywhere, boys. I think we've just been everywhere. Um, I don't know, big thing. I don't know, big thing. That's not really big, brother. Dude, the ideas on here, man, are just endless, dude. Army base. Wow. What the hell? Am I tripping here? Oh my god. LOL, you got drilled? Thanks, buddies, whoever makes the server. But look at all these cars and vehicles you can choose from, man. Like, it is insane. Like, just going through the whole listing here is just insane, man. Well, let's try that. Dude, I would have loved a roleplay of like with a vehicle like this in the game. Oh my god, dude. The ideas are here, man. We got you guys have to get on underground multiplayer, man. We gotta blow this stuff up, dude. If this was out ten years ago, this thing would have been huge in the multiplayer community, man. It probably would have still been popular this day. Roleplay servers, free roam. Oh, ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. But the ideas here would have been so endless, man. If this if it only was if only it was like 2010, man. 2010, 2011, dude, and this was out. It just came out. Oh, my God, dude. San Andreas Multiplayer would have been on RIP, man. Oh. I know there's another client out there called OpenNP, which goes basically off of the SAM client, and I know they're working hard as well, so I'm actually excited to try out that when it comes out. If you haven't checked it out, look it up. OpenNP for the SAM. 
It's going to be pretty good, I hear. Um, can you spawn these actually in? Like, is this an actual thing you can spawn in? Oh my god. You can actually spawn in these big ass freaking planes, dude. Bullworth. Let's go ahead. Let's go to the trains. Wow. I feel so small being here, man. What's going on? Holy shit. That's not what you wanted to do, man. That is not what you want. <laughs> okay, we're not doing that right. We're not doing this right at all, dude. Let's try to go ahead and spawn it in over here. Let's try to get like a good clean area. I'm assuming you can swim in the... No, that's that's not. That's not working out the way I wanted to. Uh, but man, dude. Bullworth, Vice City, San Andreas, Liberty City. All in here, man. Oh, man, dude. How do you go to the airport? Is there like an airport thing? Airport. Uh, no, I don't know how then. I don't know if there is a way to actually get up on an airport here. This is kind of confusing. There's no airport spawn. There probably is. I'm just probably not figuring out. Wow, we're at the lighthouse, man. Jimmy Hopkins' house, dude. Oh my god. Let's see here. Can we actually go inside? Yeah, of course you can go inside, man. Wow. So many roleplay ideas, man. Dude, this if this would have blown up like 10 years ago, dude. What the fuck was that? Did you guys see that? Or am I driven? Oh my god. Love the idea, man. I want to get a freaking plane, though. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is Mayday Alert. We are going in. Going in full. Dude. Can you imagine the role play you could have done with shit like this, man? Oh no, we're crashing! No! <laughs> I'll unfriend you. Damn, why are they so mean, bro? Jesus, man. Honestly, man, I love it. I love the idea. I just wish the community was there. Um, this could have definitely blown up if it was 10 years ago, man. 10 years ago, and we would have had the best thing in the world, dude. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here. We checked it out. Too bad there's no um, you know, roleplay servers, or we would roleplay. Free run was fun. So many cars, so many places, so many things you could have done, man. The ideas there are endless if you're, in a, if you're a creative person. Um, other than that, man, this is getting me my feels, dude. I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here with a wave, if I can wave. No, you can't wave. Oh, yeah, you can't wave. I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here with a wave, boys. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Of course, more episodes here to come. We're just checking out a lot of things. We're getting back into roleplay soon. Peace out, guys. We popping fresh at the van. We let his shit hit the fan. He taking bullets to his chest. How we go call him a man? I hate him with the Smith and Wesson. Cause I'm not one to be testing. I won't even use a weapon. You consider that a blessing. Ain't no time for guessing. Better take it as a lesson. It don't matter who I'm fucking up. They in the class or they in heaven. Bloody stains on my white tee. He tried to fight me. Feeling like I'm partying cause you have to bring a pipe. Yeah.